What is going on, everyone? It is Will Mitchell here, and right now we have the November Mahogany Bay Village update. You're gonna see a lot of beautiful homes going into the project. We're gonna start with the pool club located on street one. This video has been broken down into two videos, so there's a lot of houses going up and these videos are getting long. So again, they're gonna be two parts moving forward and probably soon three parts. But here's the pool club, guys. You have the pool located in the middle. You have the Airbnb check-in at the front you have the beautiful bar and restaurant where you're going to have some nice tables in there a pizza oven and then at the back you have an additional bar so this is going to be the place to hang out if you're an owner in the community you're going to come here you're going to eat delicious food you're going to hang out you're going to drink amazing cocktails and obviously cool down in the pool there but we're getting into the final stages of the pool club and everyone's really excited for that to be done Next up, we have our crofters, which are located directly beside the Remax office. The crofter is a very robust floor plan. These are actually the residential crofters that you saw in that initial floor plan. But what I've done with these two is divided them into six little office spaces. So on the main floor, each side has two offices. And on the upstairs floor, there's two more offices. Our team has grown a lot, so we need the space. Right now, they're working on the roof. Next up, they're going to be getting the walls and we have beautiful glass doors, which are being brought in uh, for the bottom units. So it's going to match our main office and we're getting into the final stages on these crofters. So you'll see right there where they're located on street one. Moving on, we have the commercial build, which is located beside the barcade on street one. This commercial build is 2,100 square feet. This is going to be a closing company and then there's going to be a awesome furniture and clothing store it's going to be like a little boutique where you can get one-stop shop everything super high end on the main floor you'll see the floor plan there so if you want to have a commercial space within mahogany bay this is a really great floor plan you can have the staircase outdoors so you can divide the units in two in theory you could really divide them into four if you want to work with the architectural team but they're working on the roof of that as well right now the Williams Cottage. So you guys have probably seen the completed Williams Cottage. It's 1785 square feet. This is a five bed, four bath. You have a massive living room. You have beautiful bedrooms. So right now they're doing the tongue and groove walls. So this house has a ton of bedrooms and a ton of bathrooms and an amazing space in the middle. The windows were installed. The tiles are going into the bathrooms and this home is getting into the final stages. It also has a screened in outdoor porch on the side, which you'll see right there. And there's gonna be a little dipping pool there as well. So you can have a pool with this plan. You can cover a high bedroom count and this home is almost completed. The next house we're gonna show you is the Headsail Canal Cottage. It's 1559 square feet. This Headsail is unique because it has a loft designed into it. So instead of having the traditional attic space, which the other plan has, they've added a loft in here. They're working on the foundation and the walls right now. And this home is a two bed, it could be a three bed. And I guess if you throw the loft in, technically you can make it into a four bed. It's a two and a half bath. It's got a beautiful open kitchen and living space facing out to the canal. Now we're looking at a Moonraker with Casita. The Moonraker is 969 square feet. It is a two bed, two bath with a open kitchen, living space, a porch and a deck. You can actually do a pool on the porch out there. And this one, they're putting in the electrical wiring and the tongue and groove on the walls. This is being built out of wood and you can see the little Casita there. The Casita is a great little plan if you want to have an extra guest room, if you have people visiting all the time, which you probably will have that, I recommend the Casita. That's one of the benefits of the Moonraker too. You have that extra additional space on your footprint there. Then you have a Moonraker being built out of concrete beside it. As you guys are now aware, you can build your homes out of wood or concrete in Mahogany Bay. When you go to quote your home out, it's a really simple process. They're gonna figure out what you wanna build out of. Then you're gonna get quotes from the approved builders within Mahogany Bay. And you can then with the project management team, select what you're gonna go with. Moving on, we have a Williams Cottage being built out of concrete. At the back there, you'll see Island Academy, which is the private school within Mahogany Bay. But right now they are working on the first floor walls, which were just completed. And this cottage is the same as the one that you saw at the beginning of the video with five beds and four baths. Now we have the Latitude 20 duplex. This is a really exciting layout. The Latitude 20 duplex has a two bedroom on one side, a one bedroom on the other side. 
in here you'll see they're starting to put plywood down on the floors then they're going to have those beautiful hardwood floors put in you see all the electrical wiring all the walls the roof everything is up in this duplex and this is one of the modern plans done by latitude 20 they're based out of belize and they're actually their firm is located down in the southern end of belize but they do have a couple of proof plans within mahogany bay so really nice little accent to the project and you can see that this home is getting into the final stages here the latelier house this is one of my favorite homes the latelier house is a four bedroom four bathroom so on the main floor you have the master bedroom you have the great room the kitchen a big porch you have the pool outside uh the, actually on the second floor of this home there's a hot tub going on the balcony which was added in it has an outdoor kitchen for grilling if you're someone that loves to host people that loves to have activity in your house that has a lot of guests or a big family this is a great layout for you this one's being built out of concrete you can see the walls are in the next phase of this is going to be the roof that they're going to be putting in and honestly this is one of my favorite homes you have a ton of bedrooms you have a ton of bathrooms you have a hot tub on the second floor you can see the outdoor kitchen on the right there on the patio and it's a super super nice plan next up guys we have a head sail canal cottage again the head sail canal cottage is 1559 square feet this unit is getting into the final stages there you can see all these custom made hardwood doors cabinets all being put in the windows beautiful hardwood frames there the hardwood floors so it's a concrete build with all of the finishing being done with wood you see they're getting into the final stages on this home and this actually has a little outdoor grilling area outside and the last thing they're going to do is put the cabinets in so those are being worked on right now they're going to install those they're going to get the floors cleaned up varnished and everything ready to go for this home so it's almost done moving on guys we have the backstay cottage so the backstay is a 1012 square foot two bed two bath so when you look at the floor plan there you have your living space with your kitchen behind it as you walk into the home then you have your two bedrooms on the side so you have the bathroom and the powder room there and really just a nice little porch out front in this one they just put the plywood down on the floors they're working on the partition walls and they're getting into the stages to put the hardwood flooring in and get this unit completed but if you're looking for a two bed and you don't like the moonraker layout then you should look at the backstay unit it's a great plan now we're looking at the jib so the jib is a two bedroom with two lofts in addition they've actually put in an additional space on the front of this plan so it is slightly modified you can see the lofts there you can see they're working on the flooring right now they have all the windows in and another home really on the final goal line here to getting completed this is one of the lofts you're looking at there so they're going to be putting the floor in on that loft typically what they do is they have ladders that you can extend out to get to the lofts and it's a great space if you have more people visiting if you want a rental property but we're going to see a lot of completed homes coming up as you guys can see here now we have the top mass duplex oh guys look at that pool tell me you don't want to jump in that pool right now so the top mass duplex is a vertically split duplex you have two beds two baths on each side of this it's not uh, 1956 square feet this unit is done you see what a completed home in mahogany bay looks like outside of the furniture there's your view looking from your kitchen to your living space down to the pool this one actually had these little sliding doors installed so if you want to convert it into one home you can slide the doors if you want to lock that off and turn it into just your duplex you can do that as well so finished unit that's coming into the rental market and another beautiful model within mahogany bay so i believe that's what we have for you guys on street one we're going to do the update on street four where you're going to see all the properties going in there and that's coming up shortly here guys so stay tuned don't forget like subscribe throw a comment in here if you want info on mahogany bay shoot me an email we're happy to get you all of the details there are still lots available and other than that guys we look forward to seeing you out here in paradise